The Royal Family Twitter account, which represents Her Majesty and all the senior royals who don't have their own social media handles, paid tribute to the son of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. In a brief message, the account wished a happy birthday to Archie, born on this day three years ago. The tweet read, wishing Archie Mountbatten Windsor a very happy third birthday. The account also seemingly extended an olive branch to the tot's parents, as the post included a picture taken two days after the boy's birth, on May 8, 2019. The snap depicts the first ever encounter of the Queen and Prince Philip with Archie. In the picture, by photographer Chris Allerton, Meghan is cooing over her baby, wrapped up in a white blanket and tiny hat. Her mother Doria Ragland can be seen looking adoringly at Archie, while the Queen, the Duke of Edinburgh and Duke of Sussex smile widely. This heartwarming meeting took place shortly after Harry and Meghan introduced their son to the world with a photo call held at Windsor Castle. During the brief exchange with the photographers in attendance, the new parents were asked if Archie was going to meet his great-grandparents. Meghan then revealed her son had already bumped into the Duke of Edinburgh on their way to the photo call. She said, yes, and we just bumped into the Duke as we were walking by which was so nice. The Royal Family Twitter account led the tributes for Archie's birthday and was quickly followed also by the social media handles of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and of the Prince of Wales and Duchess of Cornwall. Kate and Prince William shared a picture taken during Archie's christening in July 2019, which includes the Cambridges, the Sussexes and their tot, Prince Charles, Camilla, Miss Ragland and Princess Diana's sisters, Lady Sarah McCorkadale and Lady Jane Fallows. The post read, wishing Archie a very happy third birthday today. Prince Charles and Camilla's Twitter account also shared a message for Meghan and Harry's firstborn. However, unlike the royal family and Kensington Royals account, Clarence House only retweeted the message shared by the Queen's social media profile, adding, Happy Birthday Archie! The royals last had the chance to see the boy in person in mid-November 2019, before his parents set off for an announced six-week break. It was later revealed the family of three spent the Thanksgiving and Christmas holidays in Canada. While Prince Harry and Meghan returned to the UK twice between January and March 2020, their son remained in America. In late March, a few days before the Duke and Duchess officially stepped down as senior royals, Archie travelled with his parents across the Canadian border to start his life in the US. In the summer of 2020, Archie, Harry and Meghan relocated to their new home in the star-studded neighbourhood of Montecito in Santa Barbara. While the Queen hasn't been able to meet Archie in person for several months, the great-grandmother and baby are known to have had interactions via video link. Appearing on The Late Late Show with James Corden in February 2021, Harry said, referring to Philip and the Queen, we've zoomed them a few times. They've seen Archie running around. However, experts point out how gravely Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are holding all of Archie's chances at connecting with the royal family hostage. Parenting expert Jo Austin made this claim in her interview. She pointed out, it's much easier to keep in touch with family now than it was when I first started working with families 30 years ago. FaceTime and Zoom are great, should their parents be keeping in touch that way? In my experience, as long as the parents are close and on good terms, the children will definitely grow up building the same bond with their cousins as they would if they lived in the same country. I believe both Beatrice and Eugenie are still friendly with Harry and Meghan and so the children will keep in touch with their cousins and family through them. This claim comes shortly after the couple was accused of keeping Archie away from his Cambridge cousins because of their ever-growing rift with Prince William and Kate Middleton.